Describe and explain what is a VOR. A VOR station transmits 360 radio signals called radials. In the airplane, there is a receiver that knows how to receive the signal and according to the calibration of the device by the pilot, a certain radial is selected. On the device, a needle called CDI can show a deviation from the radial up to 10 degrees on each side. The device knows according to a predetermined 180 degrees sector whether it is to the station or from the station. Before navigating using VOR, we need to listen to the Morse code to confirm the usability of the station. The VOR broadcast is in the VHF, a very high frequency spectrum, between 108.0 decimal zero to 117.905 decimal megahertz, between 108 to 111.85 decimal megahertz even. The device is very accurate, but at low altitude it is difficult to pick it up. Describe and explain what is NDB. ADF, Automatic Directional Finder, is a device in the airplane that receives the ground station transmissions. The ground station, NDB, non-directional beacon, transmits radio waves to all directions. As stated, the transmissions are received by the ADF receiver in the airplane. The navigation device in the cockpit shows the pilot a relative bearing by a needle which is the relative longitudinal axis of the plane to the station clockwise. The pilot knows his direction and when he connects the plane magnetic heading with the relative bearing, he gets the magnetic direction to the station, QDM. More advanced ADF devices are called RMI devices in which the ADF needle is assembled inside a compass which spares from the pilot the need for calculations. The frequency range for the transmission from the NDB station is found on the spectrum between the low frequency and the medium frequency, usually between 190 to 535 kHz. Describe and explain what is DME. The DME display distance measurement from an aircraft to a ground station. The distance is measured by sending radio transmissions and receiving them back. The time difference from the moment of sending to the reception is translated into a distance. The distance is diagonal between the plane and the station, so if we were exactly above the station, the distance shown will actually be the altitude above the station. In addition, the DME is usually attached to a VOR or ILS station. The DME device works in the UHF, ultra-high frequency range, between the frequencies 962 to 1213 MHz. Describe and explain what is ILS. The ILS system, or in its full name, Instrument Landing System, is a system that allows direct access to the runway axis in an obstacle-free gliding path. The system consists of several components. Localizer, a vertical needle in the device indicates the runway center line. The localizer system operates in the VHF spectrum at odd frequencies between 108.0 MHz to 111.95 MHz, for an example 110.3. Glide slope, a horizontal needle that indicates a glide path usually at an angle of 3 degrees. The glide slope, like the DME, is broadcast in UHF. 
The system operates in the UHF spectrum at 328.6 MHz to 335.4 MHz. The pilot tunes the lock frequency on his VHF device and the frequency of the glide slope is automatically coupled with it. Markers Voice alert, Morse, and visual three indicators lights in the cockpit, blue, orange, and white, to indicate the position of the aircraft during an approach, almost not used today. The system operates in the HF, high frequency spectrum, at 75 MHz. ALS, Approach Light System. Set of lights before and center to the runway that set a minimum for a visual descent for landing.